Hello friends, in this lecture we are going to discuss about neighboring group participation and this is our third lecture of NGP. In the last two lectures we have already discussed about some basic points of NGP. In this lecture we are going to discuss about nitrogen acting as a neighboring group. In the last lecture we have already discussed about oxygen acting as a neighboring group, then sulfur acting as a neighboring group and halogens acting as a neighboring group. And in this lecture we are going to discuss about nitrogens acting as a neighboring group. So let's start. See this reaction, we are getting 57% yield of the product. Now, in case of this reactant, if we have doing NGP, that is neighboring group participation type of reaction, then this reaction goes by 2 SN2 attack, that is first intramolecular SN2 attack and second one will be intramolecular SN2 attack. But now in case of this reactant, as you can see, this nitrogen is containing lone pair as well as this chlorine is also containing lone pair. So, out of this two, which one is act as an nucleophile and which one is act as a good living group. So, in case of NAT2 and Cl, if this nitrogen containing lone pair, this lone pair will attack on this carbon, then this Cl- minus will be eliminated out. Suppose, this Cl is contain which containing lone pair attack on this carbon, this NAT2 will be group will be eliminated out. But as this chlorine is a good living group, this Nitrogen which containing lone pair means NAT twice will be attack on this carbon and Cl minus will be eliminated out and you will get final this product. So this reaction is taking place in presence of NaOH. So first intramolecular SN2 attack will be done by this nitrogen on this carbon and Cl minus will be eliminated out and second intramolecular attack will be take place by this OH on this carbon and intramolecular SN2 reaction will take place. So let's see its mechanism. See, this is our reactant and first intramolecular SN2 reaction will take place by this nitrogen. So, as this nitrogen acting as an NGP, neighboring group participant, the reaction, rate of reaction is higher. Okay. So, this lone pair will attack on this carbon and Cl- will be eliminated out as per this. Right. Now, after elimination of this Cl-, you will get three-membered ring formation. That is our first product of intramolecular SN2 attack. So, we will get aziridium cation, three-membered ring of aziridium cation. Now, the second step will be intramolecular SN2 reaction. In case of first intramolecular SN2 reaction, you will get inversion of configuration. Now, there is a second intramolecular SN2 reaction. Now, out of this NaOH, this OH- minus will be attacked on this carbon and this electrons will shift on this nitrogen. Means, restoration of lone pair takes place and you will get second inversion by second nucleophilic attack that is SN2 attack this is the final product you are getting but in case of this nucleophile nucleophile will decide which type of product you will get whether this OH will attack on this carbon or whether this OH will attack on this carbon the attack of this nucleophile is depend on the as we are doing SN2 reaction and the rate of reaction is depend upon concentration of nucleophile as well as the type of nucleophile. So, rate of reaction as well as the product will depend on the nucleophile. If you have a strong nucleophile, you will get a different product. If you have a weak nucleophile, then you will get a different product. Suppose, same reaction. If we have a zeridium cation, but nucleophile will be different. Suppose, we have one alcohol which acting as a nucleophile and second nucleophile will be from water. Then, you will get a different product. Let's see one by one. This is our aziridium cation. Suppose we have one nucleophile that is a hydroxide ion which is coming from this OH minus means suppose alcohol will be there. Then this OH minus the attack will be takes place by SN2. Why? Because it is a strong nucleophile. Then this OH will attack on this carbon. Now out of this we have this aziridium cation and attack may be takes place at this carbon as well as at this carbon. So out of this two this is a less hindered site and this, this carbon is at more hindered site. So, in case of intramolecular SN2 reaction or normal SN2 reaction, as it is a one step reaction, you will get attack of nucleophile as well as elimination of leaving groups at the same time. So, in, in case of a SN2 reaction, so this OH- will attack from backside and this electrons will shift on this nitrogen, means group will be eliminated out by the SN2 reaction, right? So, this reaction is takes place by SN2 manner. So, this OH- minus will attack on this carbon, this electrons will shift on this nitrogen and restoration of lone pair on nitrogen takes place by SN2 manner. 
and you will get the final product. But if there is a water molecule which is acting as a nucleophile, then condition will be different. As it is HOH, that OH minus will attack on this carbon and restoration of electron takes place. But the condition is this water molecule is not that much strong nucleophile. So the OH minus from this water molecule will not give a SN2 attack. It will goes by SN1 reaction takes place by two step. First step will be formation of carbocation and second step will be attack of nucleophile. Let's see. The first step will be we have this positive charge species. So restoration of this nitrogen lone pair will take place. Breaking of this bond takes place and electron will be restored on this nitrogen. As for this, now as this electron from this bond pair shifted on this nitrogen, you will get positive charge at this carbon. Means the first step is formation of carbocation. You will get carbocation formation here. So this is the first step. Now in second step, we have a water molecule as a nucleophile. So this water molecule will give you SN1 attack. By this attack of this lone pair on this carbon, you will get OH substituent here. So final product is like this. So depend on nucleophile, type of nucleophile, whether it is a strong nucleophile or weak nucleophile, final product is depends. If it is a strong nucleophile like hydroxide ion, it can go by SN2 attack. If it is a weak nucleophile, then it may give by SN1 attack. So depend on the nucleophile which are you, we are using, our product will be differs. Let's see one more example. The question is, 2-phenyl thioethyl chloride react with water 600 times faster than 1-chloropropen. Means when the 2-phenyl thioethyl chloride reacts with water, it gives 600 times faster reaction than 1-chloropropen. Why it is so? See, we have this 2-phenyl thioethyl chloride molecule which is containing this group. Means this self for containing lone pair of electrons. Now, as we are discussing about this NGP, this sulfur is now act as a neighboring group participant. NGP reaction stand for means in case of NGP, there are two nucleophilic substitution reactions, SN2 reactions. First one is intramolecular SN2 reaction and second one is intramolecular SN2 reaction. So now this sulfur molecule which is containing lone pair easily available to attack from backside and the Cl- will be eliminated out from the next side. So this sulfur act on this carbon and the Cl- will be eliminated out. But when the condition, when there is a molecule that is simple one chloropropane molecule, no such phenyl sulfur group will be there, then here CH3 will be a CH3, CH2, CH2, Cl. Normal one chloropropane molecule. As there is no any neighboring group participant, only it react with water, it will give you a normal SN1 reaction and finally you will get a product. So its reaction is 600 times lesser than the molecule is 2-phenyl thioethyl chloride. As we have this sulfur molecule in 2-phenyl thioethyl chloride, the sulfur molecule with its lone means it is acting as a neighboring group and it act on this carbon, this Cl- will be limited out as per this. Okay, now you are getting this 3-membered transition state or 3-membered carbocation. Now the second attack, this is our first SN2 attack which is an intramolecular SN2 reaction. It will give you inversion of configuration, right? The second attack will be, now the second step is attack of this motor molecule. Now, as this is a weak nucleophile, the condition will be, first there is a bond breaking takes place. Maybe this bond or this bond, both are symmetrical. So if breaking of this bond takes place, as this electron will shift on this sulfur, here we will get a positive charge. So finally, on this positive charge, the substitution of this OH will take place and you will get a final product. So this is one more example of sulfur acting as a neighboring group. In next lecture, we will see pi bond as well as sigma bond acting as a neighboring group. Thank you.